I'm here in Phuket at the Corporate Live Wire Awards. Uh, That's for us, currently. <laughs> okay, fantastic. So what are some of the biggest challenges of operating on an international scale right now? Sure. I mean, for the, under the current situation, I would say uh, one of the most critical issue or challenge is going to be the geopolitical situations, uh, especially after the pandemic region, uh, pandemic period. And the second thing will be the global economic context. Uh, it's absolutely uh, a somehow somewhat depression in the global economy right now, and it's trying to recover. And the recovering cycle might be longer than ever if we look at the data. So those two things are the most uh, critical challenges I would envision. And what are some of the interesting projects that you've been working on this year? Uh, this year, well, absolutely. So we got many things going on this year. Uh, so first, uh, we have a joint venture with uh, one of the regulatory technology companies, which is also listed on London Stock Exchange this year. It's called RegTech Open Project. So we launched a joint venture with them in uh, the Asian region uh, this year. And we also are currently doing the product localization development in the Asian markets for them as well. And uh, at the same time, we're planning to launch next year and uh, it's building different partners for them uh, at the same time. Also, uh, we have many pharmaceutical projects going on, helping them with the business development in the Asian markets as well. Excellent. And how do you see the market evolving or developing in the near future? Sure. Uh, thanks for this question. It's a very, very interesting uh, question, to be honest. Uh, and uh, so, I mean, it's really about the business cycle, right? So if we look back at least 10 years or maybe 30 years or 50 years, we say the economic cycle is always ups and down, ups and down. And sometimes history repeats. Right, history repeats. But if we look at uh, how the current economic situation is, it's very challenging, it's very critical, and uh, uh, it's more serious than ever before. And um, my, the data shows us there might be a, possible, a possibility for a potential World War III, which um, you know, is highly risky, but uh, if that's something gonna happen, we need to take a look at uh, uh, the opposite side of this, because you know, like uh, every time there is a war, there will be opportunities and risk associated with that. So for the opportunities, usually they were coming from, you know, like the next generation industrial revolution, which is going to be critical technology breakthrough, which we already saw that generative AI, things like that, and different things is going to leading the economy to the next generation that could be beneficial to us, as well as, you know, the wealth transitions and uh, the new business leaders coming up. So that could be potentially beneficial to our society as well. Hey, excellent. Thank you again for your time and congratulations on your award. Thank you. It was very nice speaking today. <laughs> Thank you. All right.